guys, it is time for Mayhem Gymnastics. So um, to introduce myself, I am Pamela Gagnon. Um, in about October, we started Mayhem Gymnastics and I feel really um, just honored to be a part of this family and um, share my love of the gymnastics portion of CrossFit. Um, just so you know, um, I started gymnastics at age six. I've been doing it for four decades and a year, so if you do the math, it's a really long time. Um, and so everybody's like, well, how do, I get, how do I get to your level? I have been doing this for four decades, and every single day I still do foundational work. So saying you're too skilled is like saying you have too much money. So when you get $100, you want to make $200. So when you get a one minute handstand, you want to get a minute 10 handstand. So I continually work on the foundation and I know that Coach B talks a lot about that too. I relate lifting and gymnastics um, to the same family of what you really need. So um, today we'll be focusing on handstand walking, but you might be like, huh, half of this like clinic, we're not even walking on our hands really. That's because if you understand the foundation and the drills to get you there, the handstand walking is the easy part. So the hard part is everything between the A and B, right? So what do I find that is lacking the foundation? Handstand holds. So like if, you're, um, if you have a toddler, they stand before they walk. They learn the balance before they walk. So that's the same thing when we're inverted. So what do we need? Number one, what did Coach B say? Mobility. If you can't get your shoulders open, then you're gonna have to arch and your position is going to be compromised. Your spine isn't gonna be stacked. You won't have that stable skeletal base. Two. We need neurological components, balance, agility, coordination. How do we achieve that? Practice. Like all the time. I'm upside down every single day. If your wrists hurt, sure. Take a break. Figure out why your wrists hurt. Probably not mobile. Go back to the mobility of the wrists but I'm literally upside down every day for the last decade, uh, four decades. Um, so in order to build those neurological components of balance, agility, to handstand walk, we really need to practice. And all these drills you can take back. Um, uh, coming up in January, we're gonna be doing like a handstand, um, handstand wall walk um, eight week session with Mayhem Gymnastics. So this will be a good foundation for that. All right, so when I look at people handstand walking, what are the most common faults? One, obviously, I'll be like, do you have a foundation? Let me see your handstand hold. Coach, I can't hold. I'm like, well, then how are you expected to improve your walking? We have to learn to stack and balance. So we wanna practice towards perfection, so when we get into competition, we can rely on those mu that muscle memory in order to walk. So I find that um, another fault besides that foundation is they're allowing the forces to win. So when we talk about snatching, what do we need to do when we catch the barbell? Active shoulders, right? So if we talk about getting into a handstand and we allow gravity to win, our shoulder angle closes, our arms bend, we're not pressing out, we're not blocking tension. So it's my job to show gravity or my forces who's boss. So we do a drill called blocking in gymnastics. So my shoulders are open, I'm able to press away. So when I start handstand walking, you'll notice that I'm using that blocking drill to push away the tension and press the floor away from me, and that's how I continue to propel myself forward. So we're gonna be doing some blocking drills. It's really important in handstand work. It will improve your jerk and your snatch tremendously. Coach B, is he here? Well, if you ask Coach B, 
If he takes a gymnast, can he make that gymnast a lifter much easier than any other athlete? That's right. They really understand body awareness and tension. So, another common fault, hands are too wide. Dumbbells, more comfortable holding here or here? Here, why? It's over center of mass. So, we're gonna do another drill that trains you to put your hand position so you stack wrists, shoulders, hips. And the last one, not using your fingers to grip. Everybody stand up for a sec. Lift your, lift one foot. What's your toes doing? Balancing. Balancing, gripping, right? So when we're upside down, our fingers are our toes. Relax. All right, now we're gonna get into a good handstand position so we understand what that means when we learn to block as well too. So first of all, we're gonna train towards perfection, right? There's no such thing as perfect, but we're gonna train to, to become better. So we're always training with feet together, everything squeezed and stacked. We'll talk about the other like scorpion positions in a bit too. So feet together, butt squeezed, rib tucked just slightly down. And you're gonna lift your hands shoulder width we're gonna spread our fingers. We're gonna press up through the ceiling. And I want you to gauge your chin at 45 degrees. Wiggle your thumb. You should see just about a little bit of your thumb. Press tall, squeeze your butt. Hold three, two, one, relax. Was that a lot of work? Every muscle working? Yes. So every muscle needs to do its job when you are inverted as well to hold your bodies. Um, let me take, um, can I borrow you? Yeah, yeah. What is your name? Harry. Harry? Yes. All right, Harry, can you sit down and just feet in front? Perfect. All right, you're gonna put your arms up. Now, I'm gonna take Harry in through a blocking drill, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press tension through his arms and I wanna see what happens. So he stays really stable right here, right? So when we go upside down, we want, when we kick up, we want to make sure that we can stay stable and create a force so, the gra so gravity doesn't win. Good, thank you very much. So if we collapse, our shoulder angle will collapse in the walk itself too. So I'm gonna run you guys through um, some things to make your walking better. First thing is we're gonna do some mobility for our shoulders. And then we're gonna do um, some drills. We have, we will have three lanes of drills going. I will explain what each lane is. After we do the drills, I'm gonna come back here, talk a little bit about walking, and then we're gonna go over and do some sets and reps of some more advanced stuff as well too. Um, one thing I need to know is if you are, um, have not ever been upside down, inverted, afraid to be upside down, no worries, come tell me. And there are other scaling options for this, such as plank work or box work as well too. Cool? All right, here's what I need you guys to do. We are going to grab in lane one, um, and we're not gonna do a drill yet, we're gonna do a, a, like a group warm up first, uh, stretching. But in lane one, each pair is going to grab, like stand by a band or sit by a band. So we have eight in each lane. Lane two, you guys are gonna grab, uh, let's grab like a 10 or a 15 pound plate and you're gonna set it up right behind the band. So you'll set up a plate like right here. Lane three, you don't need anything. You guys can just go over there. So find um, a band, a lane, We'll do eight groups to each lane. Two, four, six, eight. So two people to a band. Yep, so right at the cone, just do a plate. 
One plate, one plate right there. One plate right there, one plate right there. One plate right there. Good, right here is fine. Perfect. All right, cool. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to um, do the block drill I just did with, was it Harry? Yes, what I, what I did with Harry. So one partner is gonna come down like this and I want you with your partner to press five times and I want the person sitting on the ground to keep that rib tucked and I want you to press tall and I want your chin at 45 so you're seeing a little bit of your thumb. That's kind of where your head's gonna be so we can see in front of us as we're walking and you're gonna do just five pulses. Everybody go ahead. One partner goes, then the other. Hands are shoulder width. Good. Um, you don't have to yet. Good, reach, reach up, reach up. Good. We should be reaching super tall. Tuck your chin just a little bit. Good. There, much better. So you're staying stable. Yeah, so you're staying up and you're pressing oh, yeah. three, four, five. Good job, Luke. Goodness. Yeah. Two. <laughs> Good. Like, Luke, is that your mother like, you? like, like you're resuscitating. It's like you're resuscitating him. <laughs> Do you First need CPR? <laughs> like that. Good. Much better. And then switch. Both people go. All right. Next is, remember, the first thing we need is mobility. So I'm going to show you an awesome stretch. This will be really good, too, for lifting as well, too. Rich, I'm going to borrow you. I'm going to have you sit with legs straight out as well in, like, an L position. All right, so just so you can see what I'm doing, I'm putting the side of my leg to his back. I'm driving my foot kind of on the lower back. He's going to put his hands all the way up, and I'm going to pull. He's very hypermobile. So, he, or has great mobility. And then I'm pressing my foot this way as I'm pulling him that way. You're gonna hold it for 20 seconds each partner. So it looks like that. No, neutral head. He can get in a very good stack position as a coach. I can really tell by this stretch who's gonna need this, like a little bit of an arch and who's going to be able to stack their spine. 20 seconds, grab right below the, el right above the elbow so you don't like kind of tear them apart there, yeah. Shoulder width, don't be afraid to add a little bit of, there you go, a little bit of um, drive and talk to the person, say more, or less. Can you go a little bit more? Or is that as far no, as you go? No, Pull, push him, sits to sit more forward, there you go. You want the hip to be about 90 degrees, so make sure your athlete's not leaning back. Very tight. <laughs> Very tight. I have no reservations on that. That's okay. So, I'm gonna have you here. Come rest for a sec. So first, I'm going to fix your seated position. So I'm going to drive a little bit up more. And then now, come on over. Now I'm going to open. This will kind of help open up this, like, right between the scaps, the upper thoracic a little bit more, which is important to have. Yeah, you need to put your whole body into it. Good. Feet, feet together. You breathe, relax. Good. Much better. Good. All right, right. All right. So we probably never really stretch before we start handstand work. This is a very simple thing to do with your partner, with your friend, whoever. Um, I like to um, do about two to three rounds of about 30 seconds each way. Um, and that, that will help a lot. I know when we were doing rig stuff at the last train with Rich, 
We did some PVC liftoffs as well too, and that can be also very helpful for the handstand position. All right, let's look at the handstand walking, and then I'll show you guys each station of drills. What we're going to do is we're going to stay three rounds on each station work rest. So one partner is going 40 seconds on, we get 20 seconds to switch, and then the other partner will go. So um, we'll stay there for three rounds each, and then we'll move. And this should really warm up your shoulders and your body positioning. So I'm going to tell you the purpose of each one. This is station one. The first thing we want to notice is my goal is the red band to basically stack um, in line with my hips, shoulders, wrists, and ears. The next thing I'm going to do is press up, keeping my rib down. Now, I got an athlete over there. What's your name? Josh. Josh. Come on over, Josh. Josh has some uber tight shoulders, and he's not afraid to show it. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's see Josh's position. Yep, feet are always together, but squeeze, good. Now, go ahead and press the band all the way up. Now, for tall, you can see how he's got a space right here, and the rib is out slightly, right? Now, if he were to open up his rib just a little bit, open up your rib just a little, good, we would move the band there, but now we have the rib out. So he's got a little bit of an arch in that lumbar area, right? Now, for him to handstand walk or handstand balance, he's going to really need to have that in order to counterbalance the closed shoulder. So his goal is going to be first mobility because he's going to eventually have a lot of lower back pain if he has too much tension um, in that arch. Good. And then I have another athlete um, in the purple. Anna. Anna? All right, Anna had really, really mobile shoulders. So let's watch her stack position. And this is good, feet together. This is good also just for coaching cues as well too. Press tall. And you can see where the band is. Pull your rib down. Scoot your butt. Good. Now you can see the difference between the band of where um, he was versus her right, because her shoulders open up as well. Chin at 45, eyes gaze right here. Eyes up. Oh, oh. Yep. thank you. <laughs> Active. Good, all right, and relax. Good, so station one, you're gonna 40 seconds, feet together, pressing tall, press up. It's like that blocking drill I was doing, except we're gonna go one hand at a time because when we handstand walk, we wanna keep our Shoulder angle open and be able to push away the ground. Got it? Station two is the blocking drill. So gravity doesn't win. We want to show who's boss. You're going to get your hands right in the front part of the plate. And we're going to retract our scaps and then protract to pop up. And we're going to block. Now, if that is terrifying, you're going to do it on the ground. What am I doing in my midline? Right. What's squeezed? Glutes. Always. Like 99% of your problems in gymnastics will be solved by squeezing your butt. All right, so that's blocking. If you have never done that before, start on the floor. And if that's good, then you can go to the plate. If you have one of these plates, you can move it to where it's a little flatter. All right. This is station number three. This requires your partner to actually do some work itself too. You might get a good bicep workout with your partner. You're gonna be my partner, how's that? Okay. These are called partner let goes. What did Coach B talk about this morning? Core to extremity. So if I can keep my core tight and I can keep my shoulders locked in, I will have much better balance upside down and inverted. So these are called plank let goes. So what's going to happen is I'm going to be in a plank position. You're going to grab here and hold me. And then you're going to just quickly let go. And my goal is to hold my feet up. So my foot up. So you're going to just let go with one hand and then the other. Got it? 
All right, let's try it out. You've never done this before. Right here? Yep. There you go. All right, go ahead. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Good. Now. <laughs> That's a plunge. I'm almost, I'm like, I'm like, I don't know, halfway there. So lift me all the way to a handstand if you don't mind. So that's the point of that drill. So obviously I didn't know if everybody could lift each other to a handstand. That's where this drill goes. How tight can you be? Um, if you've seen on my Instagram, I do like um, banded handstand pops. And that is just a really, really great way to train body positioning. Um, and also it's wicked fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like bouncing your body through the air. Um, all right, so this, if you have never done it, what's the first thing you're going to do? Squeeze your butt. Then you're going to press through the ground. So if you, if you lose tension anywhere in the shoulders or your core or your glutes, your foot will hit the ground. Got it? What I want you to do the first time you do it with your partner is just slowly let go, keep your hand there in, so they don't like break a toe. Got it? All right, cool, everybody know what's going on? All right, so this is our warm up. Everybody get set. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Oh, perfect, yeah, perfect. All right, so one partner's working at a time. Unless you're on the let goes, then obviously you have um, somebody helping you as well, too. All right. 40 20, you got it. Feet are together in every single drill. I'm like a. Yeah, I'm like a. Yeah, you got it. Okay. up that rib when you guys press Five, up. Three, two, one. Go slower. Go slow. Go slow. Pull this rib down. Good. You're pressing up a little bit tighter. Good. Pull that rib down just a little bit. Hands are here, not here. Yep. There you go. Hands in, rib down, good. Keep the elbows straight, try it again. Three, two, one, switch. All right, we got 20 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Going in, two, one, go. Back the butt. Good. There you go. Good. Keep that tight. Squeeze. Good. There you go. Much better. Oh, yeah. Oh, here. So, in, don't jump. Walk. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Squeeze, squeeze, don't sag there. Rib down, rib up. Now press up, press. Yes, now don't lose that. Spread your fingers. Good, now jump. Press, don't bend the elbow, just scap retracts and protract. Now push the crap, yep. And now retract, and then push. Good, much better. There you go. Good, you can rest. So here, 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 not here. Nice job. And go. Push up. Turn your fingers out just a little bit. Straight. Push up more. Pull this up. Good. Breathe. <laughs> Good. Pull this up a little bit. Good. Up tight. Good. Much better. Excellent. 
Yeah. Um, either's fine, honestly. That's fine. Five. You're bending the elbow. You can go much slower. One, two, one. I'll watch you next time. Rest. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah, I know. You better listen to me. <laughs> Going in five, two, one, go. Feet together. Okay. Yep, good. Pull that rib down just slightly. Good. And then look, eyes glazed. Yeah, now that's your walking position. Good. Your rib's out way too much. Tuck the rib just slightly. All right, now I know you're really tall, so the band's tight. Can you get your hands shoulder width because they're too narrow? Good. Yep. And now, and now tuck the rib. Good. Yeah. And breathe. Good. <laughs> Bring this up just a little bit. There you go. Five, two, one, and was that three each? We got one more. One more. Yeah. All right. Last, last round or last forty seconds, and then. You guys are going to go to plates, and then three, you guys come over here. Go! Feet together. Good. There you go. Get your hands like this, like you're walking, and then eyes. Yep, gaze. There you go. Good. Now tuck the rib. See how this is too far behind you? So when, if you were arching, the band would come here. Right. If you were more in a um, stack position, the band, like your hands are way too far back, that's sending the band back. Okay. So we just want to be a little more stacked than that. Good. 10 seconds. There you go. Good. Hands are better this time. Arms are better this time. Three, two, yep. One. Good. You got only 20 seconds to get to the next station, so you better hustle. It's like everything. That's the point of handstand walking. People don't understand like every muscle needs to, you know, work. Go. Hold it. Stop for a sec. Push up. Press. Nope. Other way. Press through. More. Yes. Good. Now don't lose that. Good. There you go. Much better. Good. I want you to press up a little bit more. Press through the ground. Good. All right. Now pull hands in. Good. Now hands just this wide. You were going too wide when you were jumping out. Good. Keep this straight. Just move the scaps, retract them and protract them. So retract and now press. Good. And then hold that turtle back position. Good. And switch. Nice. Five seconds. Two, one, go! Feet together. Good. Sorry. Yep, no, no problem. Eyes up. So your eyes are going to gaze like you're actually handstand walking. Good. What I like here is the band is in line with shoulders, wrists, hip, and legs. So it means like her, she's not overarching, which is good. So he's got super tight shoulders. See how he has a space right here? So arch. he's going to have a big arch when we start walking, but right now that's what we're working with and we're going to make it 1% better today, right? Perfect. You got it. <laughs> there you go. Good. Put your arms a little bit closer. Good. Rest! There you go. Now drop the butt. Squeeze. Good. Spread your fingers a little more. Excellent. Good. Keep pressing. Good. Breathe. Make sure you guys are breathing. <laughs> All right. Pause for a sec. Okay, you have a big sag right here. So what I want you to do is just get in a plank for me like this. Go ahead. Pull this up. Pull this down. Good. 
Now, don't lose that. He's gonna pre he's gonna now pick up your legs. Don't move that. Don't move that. Try. Yep, rib to the belly button. Good. All right. Go ahead. Once. Press through. Good. Yes. Good. Relax. Excellent. Much better. Much better. Thank you. Just holding the plank will be really helpful for you. Okay. Yo. Yeah. Yep. So, yep. So in order to get generate power, you're gonna have to retract, catch and protract, stay and protract, and then catch active. The only way to retract, the only reason to retract is when you're popping up. So I really want to stay in that turtle back position. When you get really good at it, you won't really even need to retract as much. Okay. Like that's the goal in okay. general. Cool. There you go. Yeah. See how that doesn't like right. have to retract too much? That's because you have, yeah. You've got good power and understand like that blocking right. skill and how to create energy and power just through like right. the, the strength of cool. your Thank shoulders. you. I just want to make sure I was doing that. You got it. That was an awesome demo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, look at that. That's much better. All right. Pause for a sec. Bring his feet down. I want you to just hold the rest like that. Good. We're going to hold the last 10 seconds just like that. Five seconds. Two, one, relax. All right, I'm back to you. Oh, boy. Yes. Good, good. Oh, I've been really working my toes bar, by the way. Oh, nice. Through. Excellent. It helps a lot. Oh, yeah, you can relax for a sec. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Coach me. <laughs> All right, that's good. Press three more. Yep, good. Now stay there. Squeeze. Don't let that foot move. Squeeze, squeeze. Press through. Good. Yes, much better. If you squeeze that in your core and press, you'll be super stable. Much better. Breathe. Good job. 20 seconds. There you go. Good. Good. Keep pressing. Drop, drop the butt just a little bit. There you go. Much better. Yeah. That is no joke. We're going to do this on handstands next. <laughs> Up, down, on plate. For real. <laughs> <laughs> I, we can do a blocking drill when you're in a handstand, yeah. Mm -hmm. See if you can get your feet together. Good. Press through more. Even more. Even more. Yes, like a turtle back. There you go. Good. And then you can retract to jump. There you go. Good, I'm gonna pause you for a sec. See how your wrists are not in line yeah. over here? So I want you a little bit more over. Now I want you to press through where you're protracting. Yeah, so it's like a turtle back, but don't send that forward. Yes. And now up. Yes. Good. And then that's stacked over that. Okay. So it's set about Yep. Am I exaggerating this too much? If I do it like this? A little bit, yeah, because you don't that's want to sag. Okay. You want to never, right, you just want the steps to move. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Pull this all the way up. Rib to belly button. Uh, come back into a um, plank. Just feet down. Feet down? Feet down, yep. Now pull this up. Up more. Press through. Good. Now drop your butt. Good. Now hold that position while he grabs your feet. Don't move. Squeeze, good. Now, yes, much up. Keep pressing, keep pressing. Up, up, through the floor, through. Yes, good. 
All right, relax. Five. Good, relax. You're losing position. <laughs> Spread your fingers too. So watch. Thank you for keeping track of the time. Watch, watch here. This. You're missing that. So you want to press away. Remember that blocking drill? That's what this will help you with. You're welcome. Yeah, so watch. When you, when you jump, you can retract. And then when you're on top, you're here. And when you do it, right, but you don't want to, you don't want to sag in the core when you're doing the retraction. Make sense? It's, mm -hmm. I want you to land more in protraction, which is like turtle back. Yes. Now drop the butt. Good. Now, yes. Good. And you can retract and then land protract. More, more. Good. Get your shoulders to land over there. Rest. Good job. Nice. <laughs> I promise this will all pay off. <laughs> it's close. I'm really red right now. There you go. Good. You were kind of missing that turtle back a little bit. Okay. Uh huh. Like how much are you like? Because hers doesn't even retract much. At yeah. So mine doesn't at all because I that's have. That's the goal. That's gotcha. the goal is like okay. that you're able to learn to like block like I did on the ground, mm -hmm. like ah. like I move by that. Okay. Like that little, but because I know how to push away tension through the ground. That makes sense. So it's not like a. Good. Yeah. Exactly. Feet together. Good. <laughs> slower, slower. With purpose. Good. Rest. Who haven't I picked on yet? Me. Have I picked on you? Not yet. All right. Your turn. Your turn. All right. Look at that. That's beautiful. Feet are together already. Dude, you're so ready. Good. All right. Pull that rib down. Good. See how his butt is sticking out a little bit? I want you to squeeze under. Yes. Better. Good. Much better position. Good. And the band is a little bit in front of the shoulders. Yep. So see how tight his shoulders are? So if he opens up, that rib has to open. That's just the tightness of his shoulder as well, too. I have a bend when I do the mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Yep. But that's good control over here. Eyes up so you can see what you're doing. Thank you. <laughs> Five seconds. Two, one, rest. I just went, so I'm extra warm. Yeah. All right. First, we're going to put your feet together because that makes you squeeze your butt. Doing this. Yeah. Well, if your feet aren't. If your feet are apart, it's harder to squeeze your butt. Okay, so first is we want to press up with our eyes gazing a little bit more towards the band. Yeah, so chin's at 45, rib down, and then tuck this under just slightly. Yes, much better. So now the band's a little more in that stack position. See how he was like out like this a little bit? So I just say squeeze the butt harder or tuck so the pelvis. Position, he can't get vertical, but he gets as vertical as he can. Right. Yep. Okay. Yep. So, so I can tight. tell can't, like. exactly. Yes. And honestly, like right before handstand walking, if we do that stretch again, it might make a huge difference. Yeah. yeah. I was cranking. Yeah. Good. We got one more. We're done. Last round, right here. Last round. All right. Last round or last part? Last partner. Last partner. Okay. Very last okay. Thank you. All right. Have I picked on you yet? Can I pick on you? All right. Are you going to find the most beautiful, like, banded handstand walk ever? Are you up? You want me to do a handstand walk? A, a standing banded handstand oh, walk. Yeah. Let's do it. Heck yeah. <laughs> standing? Let's go. That's what we're doing. We're right side up. Right handstand walking. All right, I'm ready. Not bad. Good. Let's, I like, I like the distance of your hands. Let's just have our eyes gaze a little bit more towards our hands. Good. And then press tall. And I like the act, like how you're being very 
purposeful in your movement. Excellent. Very good. Nice and tight. Beautiful. Nice work, man. Uh, thank you. Appreciate thank you. you. Good work. All right. Well, if you were cold, you definitely are not cold yeah. anymore. Good work. <laughs> All right. As I said, if you do not have a foundation, it will show up here, and it's really going to show up when we start handstand walk. So what's our goal? Just learn something new today, get 1% better. Obviously, we're not going to make you more mobile or flexible in the next hour. But what we can do is highlight the things that you can work on. So if you had trouble on those let goes and you started to sag, you know you need more awareness in your midline. So when you are upside down and inverted, it's very difficult to understand where your body is in space if you can't manage it when we're right side up. So that's why I like this drill a lot because you're not having to fight gravity, but you can concentrate on building that muscle memory as well, too. All right, very job well done, yes? On these ones, over there, you said squeeze your butt as hard as you can. Yeah. Uh, I found it easier to do that and then slam my legs together. Is yeah. that cheating? Uh, no, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I love it, right, no, that was good. Um, yeah, the tighter, that's why I said like feet together here, because it forces you to kind of squeeze your butt and engage your glutes better, exactly. Um, let me talk, I had a lot of questions about this. You guys can sit down and relax for a sec. So I had a lot of questions about this. So remember that blocking drill I just showed you um, in the beginning? So my shoulders are nice and open, right? And I don't, you don't see me like retracting here and then pushing up here. So when you get really good at this, you can stay in this like turtle back position and learn how to just press through the floor, through my tension in my body. So gymnasts use this in vault and tumbling a lot. Um, and that way we are kind of pressing through in order to gain power. So tension is power. So when we're handstand walking, we want to be able to keep our shoulders engaged and open while we're pressing through the floor to create tension. The tension creates kind of the power and momentum to move forward. Yes? Is there a correlation between our back and speed or is that just in our heads and back more? Um, is there a correlation between what? Our back and speed. Yes, more. so let's talk about that now for sure. So. I can do a handstand in literally a hundred different positions. Straddled, arched, stagged, arms bent. But over time, when our spine compresses and we're walking, you might find, oh, my lower back is starting to really hurt. So can I walk in a scorpion position? Sure. But what I'd rather do is shorten my lever but keep my spine stacked. So if I want to go faster, I'm just going to bend my knees, keep my spine stacked instead of this, which will eventually cause a lot of lower back pain. Now, gymnasts who do back bends every day and work on thoracic mobility really don't have that lower back pain. But we're not like nine-year-olds learning gymnastics, and we're not as flexible as them as well, too. So. The scorpion doesn't necessarily make you faster. What makes you faster is shortening your lever. So the length of my lever, if I shorten it by bending my legs and then using a lot of athletes will like kind of move their legs with the momentum, that also can help. But it works for them because they have a foundation. So if you try and do it without the foundation of understanding how to move through space, then it's not going to really work out as well. Great question. Anything else about that positioning? How you would recommend to stay on the third one if you, if you don't have a partner? How we can do this like at home alone? That's a great question. You can like get a box, put your feet here. Let me use this. You can get a box or you can use the rig and hop. This is all about balance and accuracy, which are those like neurological components we learn in our L1 that are really important. So notice I'm doing it like with purpose, 
That's why we want to train with purpose. I want to see purposeful movement. So over there, some of you were going really, really fast and not letting your brain connect with your body. That's really important. Coach B knows that a lot. In lifting, you need to build that muscle memory. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Anybody want to try? <laughs> Nobody, you guys aren't fun. <laughs> um, all right, any other questions about what we just did? All right, so let's talk about handstand walking. Then I'm going to have two stations and then a third station with me. We're going to be handstand walking. Um, the more advanced athletes over there are going to be doing some accuracy drills with me. And then at the end, we're going to just kind of play obstacle courses. So what's the best way to train handstands? Just like playtime is really fun. So we're going to make it fun. Um, you're probably going to. Going to do a workout with handstand walking. And we're going to do a workout with handstand walking. Thank you. So we will not play too much. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, all right, so let's talk about handstand walking. First, I want to get into a balanced position. Why? Because that shows that I have control. Athletes who tend to fall back to the start position and have all their weight in the heel of their palm are usually too afraid to have their momentum a little bit in front, which is what you need to have for handstand walking, because they haven't built the foundation of a handstand, so they're not that secure up there. So what do we want to do? First, hold. Second, grip with our fingers and allow, just like we did that um, balance drill, allow our fingers to be helpful in the balance and the walk. The more surface area you provide yourself, the better. So we don't want fingers together, we want them here. For walking, you can turn out just slightly more, but I don't tend, unless we're going up an object and our wrists can't bend in, in flexion, I don't like to handstand walk out here. Why? If we're falling this way, we have no fingers to help us. So I like to go about five to 10 degrees the most. If you have tight wrists and you have to turn them out, I understand why, but also don't use an excuse, work on your wrist mobility, stretch out every day. It takes five minutes a day, good? So when we start to walk, you're gonna notice that I'm gripping and you'll see all these drills highlighted in what we're doing. You'll notice that I'm stacked wrist, shoulder, hip and I'm pressing through the ground. So I'm first going to get into a shoulder width position, and then I'm going to press through the ground. If you do this and get your hands too far in front of you, your shoulder angle closes, game over. What happens when my shoulder angle closes? Where's my hip go? Here's my shoulder. My hip goes behind my shoulder. So I'm no longer in a stack position. I can't take my body with me. Make sense? All right. Remember I said that you might have that arch because of your shoulder angle. But the most important thing to remember is keeping that arm angle, that, um, arm angle open as much as possible. And that's done through those blocking drills and that stabilizing drill. And well, really all three drills we just did. Good? So that's kind of like the goal. Um, what we're going to do is I'll take you guys over to the wall, but let me show you what we're going to do first. What time is it? How much time do we have? Okay. okay. All right. So drill one, we're going to wall walk with a band. So we're going to take this band. It was travel with a bag of goodies. So we're going to take this band and this will force tension and it will also force you to keep your hands shoulder width. So we're going to actually wall walk with this on our forearms. We're going to wall walk to where we create the best stacked position. I'll demo over there 
But if you aren't comfortable going all the way up, no worries. You're going to stop to where you have good positioning. I'd rather see great positioning than a crappy wall walk. Then we're going to do plate walks. We're not going to do that. We're going to do plate walks, either freestanding or against the wall. So we're going to basically take that drill, turn it upside down, and walk up and down the plate instead of pop up and down. The step after that is actually to be able to pop up and down by doing um, uh, the rebound drill I just showed you guys. So we're going to do four sets and then three sets. And then there's going to be a group with me over on the mat. So let me have you guys take a field trip over here. I'll show you the two stations over here. We can leave some of these plates. Here. Would you mind grabbing me those green bands? Thank you. Um, yeah, you can put that there. That's fine. But I don't need them all there yet. Thanks. All right, come to the side of me. It's like usually the best view. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll notice like every video is really from the side because it's the best angle to see where the body needs to move through space. So we're going to wall walk with these in this, um, in the, on this station. What I want you to do is take a giant step up and open your shoulder angle completely and tuck your pelvis under. Then this forces you to create very tiny purposeful steps. You're going to go as high as you can, tuck the toes, and then come back down like that. No push-up. So I did that really with purpose. It's like quiet as a mouse. So if you notice, like, Gymnasts aren't just delicate or elegant because it looks nice. It's also effective because there's more tension. Good? All right, questions on that drill. So remember, I want you to wall walk up to where your shoulders are completely open. So it might be a slight lean that you're not used to, and we're in this angle. Then we start to walk. I want you to try and press this away from you, and that will create that tension. All right, this station, if you're not great at handstands, you're going to do back to the wall. We're going to plate walk up and down. This is teaching you how to press tension through as you walk up. Now, you'll notice my hip kind of comes over to that side where my balance is, and then I come back to the center. So we're learning just how to shift our weight. You're going to straddle your legs a little bit for more balance if you need it. So you'll see my hip is kind of shifting as I lift. Pressing up, pressing up. What's this drill look like? Press up, right? So the reason we did that red band is so you understand this. If you're really good at handstands, I like the position better if you go belly to the wall because it now you don't have to arch if you're excellent at handstands you're going to take this off the wall and you're going to oh hold on ah, handstand walk up and down <laughs> got it okay so those are the two stations the numbers are up there so let's have, if you were originally in line one, you're going to do the green band. Make sure you have enough room. I want you to rest about 30 seconds after the second person goes. So if you're wall walking, your partner wall walks, both rest 30 seconds, then go again. Sets are over there. And then we'll need some plates over here. You can have some plates over there as well too for those who are more expert handstanders. And then I'll take group three over the mat with me. So what we're going to do is, um, this is a fairly advanced group. We're going to do some accuracy drills down the line. Got it? OK. Got it. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to walk halfway down sideways on the white line for accuracy. Then we're going to turn. And I want you to stay on the white line. We'll have somebody over here so you can see. So we'll have one, two, three lines of people. What I want you guys to think about when you're doing this is not getting too far ahead of you. So it's small steps that will help you stay accurate and on the line. If you can't side kick up, you can <laughs> I see you're like, I am not half cartwheeling up. You can kick up this way and then shift. Yep, so let me get a cone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, you started with leg holding. Yeah, the like plank kind of thing. You're over here. <laughs> okay. You're gonna sidewalk to you hit the cone, or see the cone. Then you're gonna front walk. Then you're gonna sidewalk the other way. But you gotta stay on the line. Every time you get off the line, you owe me a back tuck. <laughs> That's right. Oh boy, that's a lot. <laughs> if we can get three going. If you are not there when it's your turn, you're going to come to me. Yeah, I want to see all you assholes. That's right. I didn't say a word. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah, so you're coming here, shifting side by side. Then you're going to turn when you hit the cone. Yep. Then you're going to go just outside. Ready? Yep. Oh, you can kick up. You can kick up regular. You can cartwheel up. Try it. Okay, so what's happening is you're closing, you're sagging. So remember the drill where we popped up. So when you, when you step to the side, that should happen. Yeah. Look at that. Very good. Oh, nice. Come on, press up, press up, push. So your hands, it's because your hands are like this. Okay. So you have no, you're not gripping anything because your hands are too turned out. Okay. So you should be here, gripping, push, 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 push. Do that drill that I just did. Okay. On the on the line. Yep. Come on, press. Here? Grip. Yep. Grip. Now go do side side. Yes. Good. Now if I lifted you up into a handstand, nothing would change from here to here. Okay. You would just be inverted. Try it again. Yep. All right, great question. So with the walking, what are you supposed to be thinking about? You're supposed to be thinking about the red, the drill with the red band. Press, press, press. Then the blocking drill, where you're trying to block away tension as you move your hand. So if you move your hand and you let gravity win, you collapse and your shoulder angle closes. That's what's kind of going on over here. <laughs> Slow down. Nice. Grip with the floor. There you go. Come on, grip. Yep. So I would say your head's out just a little too much. So what's happening is you're, you keep walking over that way because you keep looking that way. So you're overarching that way. Watch my head position and my spine. So my head's pretty much locked into, oh, hold on, where you're a little more like that. All right, if you don't have a handstand walk, come over to me. There you go. Good, press up. 
That's it. That's it. Much better. That shoulder angle is better. There you go, Rich. Yes. Come on. Grip with the floor. Yes. Keep the rib down. Much better. That was much better. Like your head position, your spine, everything. All right. Have you been in a handstand before? Yeah, but I don't know if I can hold it. That's OK. I'm going to help you. So we're going to, are you a righty? OK. You're going to get your hands down there. Hold on. All right, three, two, one, up. Press. Good. Excellent. All right, tuck your, tuck your chin a little. Press up. Tall. Good. Tuck your chin just a little more. I want your eyes to look here on my foot. Good. Tuck up. Excellent. Really good. Nice. Just had a little bit out there. Yep. All right. Have you been upside down in a handstand yes. before? Yes. Excellent. Can you? All right. Do you want? Do you want me to watch? Or you want me to spot? Do you need a spot? You can watch for the first time. Let's do it. Okay. Good. Press tall. Open the shoulders. Open the shoulders. Grow taller. Feet to the ceiling. There you go. Good. Stop. Nice. Not bad, not bad. OK, here's what's happened. The farther you got, the more you sagged. So you started to really struggle at the end, strength-wise, because you weren't here. So I want you. Right, so sit down for a sec. on a butt? Yeah, on your butt, feet out. Arms up. Like that. So you're very tight. Come on. Don't let me win. Good. Now open up more. Good. That is what you need to feel. So if I were to jump on top of you, you'd be able to press me away. Good, relax. You're not working that hard there with your shoulders. I'm really pushing. Upper thoracic needs to really work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. All right. You guys are done over there. Let's rotate. Three goes to green bands. Uh, plate walk comes to me. Green bands go to plate walk. Rich owes me like seven back tucks. If my knee wouldn't explode, <laughs> Thank you. Good. Your spine's in a much better position. I'd even get your head in a little bit more. Tuck your chin down towards your... So you're here. I want you here. So your eyes are gazing. Okay. Because when you get tired, you're going to do that. All right, next group, come on over. All right. Hello. All right, this is super fun, challenging. And if you don't have handstand walks or handstands, you come see me. We have three lines, so white, white and the black line and we have a cone towards the center of it. Our goal is to sideways walk to the cone and then turn and forward walk. Now, what are we going to be thinking about? We're going to be thinking about the drills we were doing there. Pushing away tension through the floor, keeping the shoulder angle open. Got it? So you can kick up here. We're going to be gripping our chins tucked. And then we're going to take little steps trying to stay on the white line. Got it? When we get halfway, if we can turn, then we want our hands as close to the white line as possible. Good? So you can just kind of play around. I'll be walking around helping. If you don't have a handstand walk, you're going to come see me right here. You guys can each grab a line. All right. Do you have a handstand? Can you kick up to a handstand? Yeah. Okay. How about you? With a wall. Okay. Can you kick up to a handstand? Okay. Handstand, handstand? Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm going to kind of spot and see where we're at here. Got it? All right. So you guys kind of move over here. Watch that line as well, too. All right. What are you, which way do you kick up? We're going to go this way. Okay. 
So you've been in you've been in a handstand before. Come over here yep. so we're not in the line. Okay, I'm gonna spot you. Hands on the ground. We're gonna start with that. Wait for me. Three, two, one, up. There you go. Good. Grip with your fingers. Find your fingers. Grow tall. Good. Eyes right here. There you go. Excellent. Oh, come down the same way you came up. <laughs> that was good. Find your fingers a little bit more. Okay. And that will help you. Nice. Have you gone into a handstand? Yeah. Okay. I want you to start here, like around our stance. Don't go up yet. Wait till my call. Three, two, one, up. Very nice. Good. Pull that rib down. There you go. Grip with the floor. Pull up. Good. Nice. All right, come down gently. That was good. Thank you. Nice job, man. All right. How about you? You want a spot? Yeah. Okay. Runner stance. Hold on. Wait till my call. Three, two, one, up. Press tall. Press tall. There you go. Good. Tuck the chin. Bring the rib down. Grow tall. Feet to the ceiling. Much better. There you go. Nice. Really good. Good, good. It's just practice. Practice on the wall, belly to the wall. All right. Have you been in a handstand before? No. No? Okay. We're going to go feet. Okay, hold on. We're going to slow kick up. Three, two, one, up. Press tall. Very good. Excellent. Come down. First handstand, freestanding over there. Heck yeah. Nice job. You had good upside down balance as well too. That was very good. All right. I've got a bad knee. Okay. So it's actually easier if they're on those sides. Yes. My left you got it. I'll go very gently. All right. Three, two, one, up. There you go. Nice. Good, grow tall. Eyes right here. That's it. Now grip with the floor. Good, feet together. Tight. Good, and come down. We'll go slow. Nice. Thank you. Very good. Very good. I'm going to help them a little bit. With the broken wrist. <laughs> there you go. That's talent right there. With the broken wrist. Stop. There you go. Stop. Good, good, good. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> Anybody else want to show me their sideways? Here, we'll come over here. Okay, so what's happening is your hands are turned out too much, so you can't, you can't save yourself whichever way you're falling. So don't go here, go here, grip the floor, and press up, like feet to the ceiling. Okay, you're really wide. So when you kick up, start here, right here. Do this like I am. Get, get like exactly like I am. Mimic me. Good. Now kick up. Don't move. There you go. Yes. Much better. Much better. Much better. But 1%, right? 1% better. That was good. You tend to want to just kick up like this. I want you to get set every single time you do a handstand. Don't go up without getting here and then go. So set your position just like you would for like high hang, dip, it's the same thing, just building muscle memory. Nice. Tuck the head a little bit and grow tall. See how he's a little bit arched and the shoulder angle's closing a little? Good, come down. You're at the end, come down, come down. Nice job. Here. Thank you. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Tuck the rib down. Ah. <laughs> so if you're, if you're walking that way and you want to stop yourself, push back with your fingers. Oh, back to, to my phone. Yep. I want your weight to be back to here. Your momentum was taking you that way, but we want to go sideways. Oh. Try it again. Grip. All right, find your palm. There you go. Find your palm again. Yes. Better. You were able to get yourself back a little bit. Nice. Good. Grip. Grip. 
Good. See her spine's really stacked. Yeah. Remember how sh her shoulders were really mobile? That looks really good. There you go. <laughs> Come on. Oh, nice. Come on, find your fingers. That's it. That's it. Press tall. Press tall. Come on. Come on. Two more steps. Excellent. Down. Ooh, that was nice. Thank good you. job. You have a good like alignment with your spine. That's why you were able to like last so long under fatigue because you had a good stacked well, position. Super arched, no, feel arched. no, okay. no. That was good. Thank that you. was good. Anybody else? You guys good? Yeah. All right, guys. We're gonna rotate to our last station. Can you help her out a little bit? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> okay, when you kick up, this. Nope. Here. Mm -hmm. Press up, press up. There you go. I'm going to help you. This, press. Mm -hmm. Keep that open. Now grow up. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're closing the shoulder angle because you don't have the weight towards your fingertips. All the weight is on the palm. So we want to distribute it just like we were here. Want to try it again? Good. Find your fingers. Good. Grip. Mm -hmm. Much better. Nice job. Thank you. Good job. All right. Last group. Come on in. Last group, best group. You got it. All right, guys. How's our shoulders feeling? Pretty smoked? Yep. Yeah, yo. I love it. Um, okay. So this is going to be fun um, little area. Our goal is to stay on the line. Your obstacle is sideways walking to the cone and then turn to, fro to walk forward. If you do not have handstands or handstand walking, you're going to come see me. We're going to work on just some handstand positioning. Let me talk about two things we want to think about. One, starting with our shoulders, our hands shoulder width, and two, finding the weight distribution from gripping your fingers to pressing through your palm. And we want to make small, purposeful steps. That drill with the red band is exactly what we're going to do. We're trying to stay on the line the best we can for accuracy. Good? So we have one line, two line, three lines. You guys are going to just kind of play around. I'll be around to help you out as well. If you have not been inverted or do not have handstands, then you come see me over here. So when, we're, when we get to the cone? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Good question. Sorry. When you get to the cone, you're going to turn and you're going to try and stay as close to that black line or white line as possible inside it. Yep. I mean, right outside it. Sorry. <laughs> I have one. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. All right. Go play. And if you don't have handstands, come see me. All right. Okay. Do you want me to just watch? Or do you need a spot? I'll try to kick up. Okay. Oh, also, um, if you need help, don't get on the line because people, like, yeah. So here. Come on over here. Let's start up here. And then you guys can wait over there. Okay. Tuck that head just a little bit. The one, the guy in the line. Okay, hold on, sorry. Okay, go ahead. Okay, come down. So, the second you kick up, this happens. Yep. Right? Okay. So, what are we gonna do? Kick up to a good handstand first. Okay. Let's try that. So, hand, shoulder width, get ready, push up. Good. Okay, now grow tall. Good. Now, see how that is sagging a little? Keep pressing. Good. And come down. When you work on that, 
first, get that really good, the walking won't be such a struggle. Okay. But you really have this sag, you gotta activate those muscles a little bit more in that upper thoracic, like right here. These muscles, lift your hands, press that up, no, to the ceiling, up. These need to stay active and they weren't. You were just allowing your like gravity to win a little bit. Good. Grip the floor a little more and I want to see more of like a penguin walk. So that will help you. Yeah. So it's more of like an open hollow. If you, if you hollow too much, then you're going to fall like you did that back way. So it's kind of like a rib tuck, but it's neutral. It's like a neutral. Yeah. All right. Anybody else? Do you need me to watch? I feel like it's up here. Do you want me to spot? OK. Hand I, I, on the I, ground. I, like I'm afraid of re repeating what I've done in my garage yes. three times, which is perfect. <laughs> so hand on the grounds. Like a, good. Fingers gripping. Three, two, one, up. There you go. Good. Okay, press tall, grip, grip the floor, grip the floor. Grow up, tall, there you go, good, and come down. Good. Yeah, I can tell like the, the trepidation. I, I, I'm just so, I've hit the, the cement so many times. Yes. Yeah, so you have really tight shoulders. So you're in a very difficult position, okay. which doesn't feel very safe and stacked. That's probably why you're also, your mind is like, whoa, and your body's like, no, thank you. Do I need to be like so, looking, like not pushing No, or you're, no? you're, um, you need to probably work on just opening that shoulder angle okay. by doing that wall walk drill with the band, I think would help you a ton. Activate the right muscles and also open up the shoulders a little bit yep. more. Like chest is close to that wall. Yeah, walk and, walk and don't walk. worry about freestanding until you get those impeccably well. Okay, okay, yeah. cool, thank you. Mm -hmm. how you would, like, to the, this point, like how you would know that you're ready from this drill and going into freestanding instead of like going to the wall? That's a great question. So I would make sure that my athlete can balance, and I'm going to show you guys a drill, like an in-between drill, and I'll show you guys that as well too. But I would make sure like they felt like they could show me good control. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that, nice. Good, good stack body. That was really good. Um, your hands stayed almost too narrow, okay. and that's why you got stuck at the end. Okay. Get a little bit further apart when you try and move. Okay. All right. Anybody else want to come on up? Yeah, go for it. So always, like, when I yeah. kick up, I always go over. OK. That's good to know. Thank you for telling me. All right. So we're going to get in runner stance, hands down. And we're going to kick up slow. All right. So we're going to transfer our weight slowly to our fingertips. OK. okay but pressing open those shoulders. So don't go until I tell you. Just go ahead and put runner stance, hands. Okay. All right, spread your hands a little bit more like that. Good. All right, ready? Three, two, one, up. There you go. Find your fingers. Good. Press tall. Good. Tuck the chin just a little bit. Much better. Good. You started off really good, and then what happened was you did like a switch leg. So when you kicked, this is the, this is the front leg, right? This leg should be in the lead the whole time, and then this leg meets it. This is what it should look like. What you did was a switch leg and drove that way over. So you drive the, uh, the one that's furthest. The one, that is fur the one that's planted on the ground comes last. Okay. That's what is counter, that's what's like controlling your kick up. Okay. So that's why you're going over, because you're driving this foot to be like, I gotta get to the handstand but you're losing control because you're not shifting your balance and weight properly. So we can, you can practice that on the wall as well too. Video yourself. Right. That'll help a lot. Yeah, we're gonna try it again. So this leg is gonna reach up. Yep, ready, set. Yes. Nope. See how that one went over? Did you feel it this time though? Okay, so that's what we're gonna try to, because once once that leg starts going over, that's when you're falling over. This is really controlled until your brain tells you, I need to get more over. But really, you just need to get more balanced. I want you to do this, a quarter kick up. You want me to show you again? Yeah. Okay. Get here. 
So this leg stays last, meets it, down. Let's try it. No handstand. Yep, it's not a handstand. Yeah, I'm on the kick. I'm just yep. gonna bring it. Yep. Bring it. Okay. Mm -hmm. This this comes first. Yes. Good. Longer, longer body. Good. Much better. Relax. Much better. Good job. You ready? Same thing, I think. Okay. I tend to want to I'll throw myself over. Okay. So did you hear what I was telling him? I did. Perfect. We're gonna we're gonna use that knowledge. All right, so runner stance, whichever is more comfortable. Yep. Okay, hold on. All right, I want you to slowly kick up. Three, two, one, go. Sorry. Yep. Sorry, I've got to go with the last one. Okay, hold on. Wait, three, two, one, up. There you go. Nice. Press tall. Grip with your fingers. There you go. Look at that. Nice job. Thank you. Good. Now, you were definitely in this position. Yeah. Shoulders are a little tight. Didn't really know what was going on from here down. Yeah. You kind of weren't aware of that. Yeah. But that was a pretty good control kick up. Okay. Hopefully that information helped you. Thank you so much. Very good. You got it. You got it. All right. Everybody come back around. I know. <laughs> They're awesome. Anybody do the freestanding handstand plate walks? Anybody try them? How fun, right? I know. That's a good goal. You got to work on that. So, takeaways are one, if you don't have a foundation, you're just going to struggle as you move up the ranks of handstands. So take the time to build the foundation because you won't struggle when you, were, when you really learn to walk. Um, two, hopefully you guys like on the stations over here learn that just playing handstands can be fun. Yes, frustrating, but also fun. And the more inverted you are every day, the better you'll get. Um, and also video yourself. You have no idea what you look like upside down probably because you don't have that spatial and awareness training and body awareness training. So video yourself just like you would for your Olympic lifts. Look back at it and use the cues that I've given you and be like, this is where I need to work and 1% better is all we're looking for each day. Um, so thank you guys so much for playing handstands. Hopefully you learned a little bit. Um, I know um, Mayhem Gymnastics has some really fun workouts coming up during the holiday season, and then we're gonna start a handstand wall walk um, in January, which will really help you a ton with handstand walking. And I know Rich has a great workout with handstand walking, so we'll have him take over. So great work, thank you so much.